dear students we have come to the last part of the story karma if you remember sir mohanlal was involved in a bitter quarrel with two english soldiers though he spoke to them in perfect english they insulted him and flung all his belongings onto the platform when sir mohan threatened that he would call in the police one of the soldiers jim struck mohanlal on the face we are starting from that point the engine gave another short whistle and the train began to move now the train was moving the soldier caught sir mohan by the arms and flung him out of the train to fling out that means to throw out sir mohanlal was thrown out of the train by the british soldiers he reeled backwards tripped on his bedding and landed on the suitcase to reel backwards means to go back uh, towards the back pechone hote jao as he was thrown onto the platform sir mohanla lost his balance he tripped on his bedding to trip means to hit against something with the foot and about to fall mochot khao and ultimately he fell on the suitcase the suitcase sir mohanla's suitcase had already been flung onto the platform total and then the british soldiers mockingly said to mr mohanlal goodbye toodle means goodbye double o has no pronunciation or no generally the pronunciation is toodle so this is colloquial english meaning goodbye the british soldiers mockingly bade goodbye to sir mohanlal because sir mohanlal was lying on the platform and the train was speeding past the station sir mohan's feet were glued to the earth and he lost his speech glue means gum atha here glue has been used as a verb his feet were glued to the earth that means his feet stuck firmly to the earth that means sir mohanlal was moveless he could not move he lost his speech he stared at the lighted windows of the train going past him in quickening tempo here tempo means speed the train was gaining momentum the train was gathering speed it was speeding past sir mohanlal sir mohanlal was lying on the platform and the lighted windows of the train were going past him train er alokot jol kamra gulo tar pas diye chole jacche the tail end of the train appeared with a red light and the guard standing in the open doorway with the flags in his hands ultimately the tail end of the train that means the fag end of the train appeared all other compartments had gone out of the platform now the last compartment that means the guard's compartment came what was the guard doing the guard was standing in the open doorway he had flags in his hands that means he was sending signals to the driver in the interclass zanana compartment was lakshmi if you remember the interclass ladies compartment was just next to the guards compartment so with the guards compartment came the ladies compartment inside the compartment was lakshmi fair and fat on whose nose the diamond nose ring glistened against the station lights glisten means to shine brightly the diamond nose ring on lakshmi's nose shone brightly her mouth was bloated with betel saliva bloated that means increase in size her mouth increased in size because she had put two or three betel leaves inside her mouth and in uh, as she was chewing the betel leaves her saliva lala was mixed with the betel leaves so it was betel saliva which she had been storing up to spit 
as soon as the train had cleared the station lakshmi had uh, the lakshmi had the bitter saliva accumulated stored in her mouth she could not spit it out she felt the varchana because the train was still passing along the platform the saliva may land on someone so she was waiting for the train to clear the station that means to go out of the station then she would spit it out so this is the habit of the indians they spit everywhere as the train sped past the lighted part of the platform lady lal spat and as soon as the train was speeding past that means it was traveling at a terrible speed the lighted part of the platform all the part of the platform is not lighted you will find that the middle portion of the platform remains lighted and when it, the train was speeding past this lighted part lady lal spat spat is the past form of spit to to fella and set and sent a jet of red dribble flying across like a dart dribble means the saliva that is coming out of the mouth ye lala muk theke beri aste that is dribble so she set sent a jet of red dribble that means the saliva was red in color because it was mixed with the betel leaves and it flew across like a dart dart means arrow like an arrow the saliva mixed with betel leaves the betel saliva came out of lakshmi's mouth and it sped like an arrow and most probably it landed on sir mohanla sir mohanla who was lying on the platform so this came of sir mohanla the oxford educated anglophile who looked down upon the indians who looked upon england as his motherland and who craved for the company of the british was inserted by the british now we understand the meaning of the or the significance of the title of the story karma actually in it is a sanskrit word the sanskrit word karma does not mean action karma means a cycle of events with cause and effect it has karma kotar mane shudhu kaj noy it has a cycle of events onek gulo kaj er samaha jar modhe karon ebong phala phal as you sow so you reap this is the meaning of karma tumi jemon bij bunbe temoni phal pabe so here sir mohanlal's plight was due to his own behavior ta duravastha karon ta nijeri acharon a person who hates his countrymen a person who looks down upon his own country is insulted by everyone he does not gain respect though he spoke in perfect english though he spoke in oxford accent he did not get respect but lakshmi the native indian woman she gained the respect of everyone this is the moral of the story so we have finished the story i will send you the questions and answers the word notes prepared thank you